Vince McMahon is facing new legal demands and intends to make a comeback to WWE. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo. You're watching another episode of The Latest and today's video is going to focus entirely on Vince McMahon and the new reports that came out of the Wall Street Journal. So let's get right to it. Former WWE Chairman Vince McMahon is facing new legal demands from two women who allege that he sexually assaulted them. The Wall Street Journal published an article today revealing that McMahon's attorney received a demand letter from Rita Chatterton's lawyer on November 3rd asking for $11.75 million in damages. Chatterton, who was the first female referee in WWE history, publicly accused McMahon of raping her in the back of a limo in New York in 1986. Also in November, McMahon's attorney received an email from a lawyer from a former spa manager who says that McMahon assaulted her at a California resort in 2011. That incident had not been reported in the media until now. The letter from Chatterton's lawyer states that Chatterton has, quote, suffered years of ongoing depression, substance abuse, disordered eating, lost income, and overall a decreased quality of life following McMahon's alleged rape. Former wrestlers Greg Valentine and Mario Mancini told the Wall Street Journal that Chatterton disclosed the allegations to them after the alleged rape. While Mancini believes Chatterton, Valentine told the Wall Street Journal that he didn't believe her then or now, saying, quote, because he didn't think she was attractive enough for Mr. McMahon. McMahon's assault on the spa manager is claimed to have happened while WWE was in Southern California for an event. The Wall Street Journal reports that according to people familiar with the matter, the spa manager reported the alleged assault to the five-star resort she was working at. The Wall Street Journal wrote, the spa manager also told her husband about the incident. Some of these people said he drove to the WWE event with a baseball bat and tried to confront Mr. McMahon, but was turned away according to these people. The woman's lawyer, Michael Bretzler, had been in touch with Mr. McMahon's attorney since at least July, according to people familiar with the discussions. Additionally, according to the Wall Street Journal, McMahon has told people that he refuses to pay settlements to Chatterton or the spa manager. The Wall Street Journal writes that New York recently opened a one-year window that allows victims to file sex abuse lawsuits based on decades-old claims. California also has a new law that allows alleged victims of sex abuse to file lawsuits that would otherwise be barred by the statute of limitations. Starting in January, victims will have a one-year window to file such claims. Amid a hush money scandal, McMahon announced his retirement from WWE this July Live. The Wall Street Journal reported at the time that McMahon had agreed to pay more than $12 million to four women over the past 16 years to, quote, suppress allegations of sexual misconduct and infidelity. The four women were all formerly associated with WWE. Despite his retirement, McMahon remains WWE's majority shareholder. In the Wall Street Journal story that was published today, it's noted that McMahon has told people that he intends to make a comeback to WWE. McMahon feels that he received, quote, bad advice from people close to him and thinks the allegations would have been blown over if he didn't step down. Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan were named the new co-CEOs of WWE following McMahon's retirement, with Stephanie also also serving as the company's new chairwoman. Paul Triple H Levesque was named chief content officer and is in charge of WWE's creative. WWE did announce last month that the company's board of directors had completed its investigation into McMahon's hush money payments. The Wall Street Journal writes that, quote, a related board probe seeks to assess damage caused by Mr. McMahon's secret packs and to determine whether legal action against him by the WWE board is warranted, said people familiar with the matter. And that's where we're at as of this moment. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this entire story in the comment section below. I will be updating you as more comes out in future episodes of the latest. So make sure you guys click that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next vid. And before you go, don't forget to check out my show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, that's live Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays here on F4W Online.